Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Eastbury Duck Races. Run this afternoon in aid of the Racing Welfare, Lambourne Riding for the Disabled and the National Animal Welfare Trust. And on a gorgeous afternoon I'm expecting to have six very, very competitive races. Hello, welcome to the Eastbury 2020 Duck Race Day and the first one on the card is the Moorhen Less Chicken Maiden Stakes. It's for three week old dab chicks. It's sponsored by Four Legs Radio and NAWT at Trindledown. And most of these are seeing a race course for the first time, so it'll be interesting to see how they handle the really wet conditions. There are a couple that have already had some previous paddling experience, so should therefore be worth noting. And the first is Packham, who swam into a place behind the very talented web feet a couple of weeks ago. And the second is Quacker Barrel, who was going really well in a similar maiden event, only to duck out when approaching the reed beds in the final 20 metres. Should be a great race, and with the ducks now down at the start, I'll hand you over to the commentator, Pat Murphy. Good afternoon, folks, and our first race today, the Moorhen Less Chicken Maiden Stakes, in, um, sponsored by the National Animal Welfare Trust. The starters are ready, they're about to let them go. There's one or two of these a bit fractious. Hope we get a good fair race at this point. Plenty of runners there off and they're swimming away quite well. And this is quite a bunch for the leaders. An awful lot of ducks here want to make the running number 11. Either Good Johnson is fairly handy. Number 10 to Bill. Number 25, Ala Orange. And number 21, Billingsgate Market. These are all fairly prominent as we... They're going a fair old gallop here. They're, they're obviously paddling quite strong. One or two obstacles in the way here, but this looks like a fair race, and we've got a group of about eight that are breaking clear of the rest. In this group, we have number 13, uh, Desert Island Duck, and also number 15, uh, Duck Soup, and number 17, Francis Drake. And these are the ones that are now fairly prominent in the group of about eight ducks, and they're paddling away quite well. This is becoming fairly tight and fairly competitive. Number six is handy. And on the far side, number 15, who's going along. He's been very prominent from the very start. Number 15, Egon Rone. And as they get towards the line, I think we got about 10 yards left to run. Egon Rone is very prominent. Also number 17, Francis Drake. And as they're getting towards the line, there's nothing coming from behind. It seems to involve this group. And that's what's going to be. The winner is going to come out of these first three. They've gone quite hard because they're slowing up here. The pace has dropped right off. And number 17, Francis Drake. Number 15, Egon Rone is going to be between these two to get to the line. And Egon Rone just managed to paddle to the front. Number 17, Francis Drake in second. And number 13, Desert Island Duck in third. Really competitive race for our opener here this afternoon. So on to the second race for this year's Eastbury Duck Races. This race is sponsored by Four Legs Radio and also the Plough at Eastbury. It is a selling race. It's for the older chicks who haven't won a wading contest so far this season. There's a couple I quite like. First of all, number eight, Gearsa Job, who had to work pretty hard to get involved at pool last time when just beaten by one of those trained by Roger Teal and should benefit from the experience. Whilst number 10, The Bill, is also an interesting runner, owned by the proprietor, Graham White, of the Plough at Eastbury. He knows a few things about ducks, especially when it comes to The Bill. I'll leave in the capable hands of quacking commentator, Pat Murphy, while I sort out my secret weapon for next year. I wonder if this will work. There's a couple of negatives in the parade ring beforehand. Number two uh, was sweating up quite badly, quite on its toes. That's it, the quacker. His rider, Frank Carson, was just about had enough with it, but finally it settled down and went to post all right. Um, Gordon is a moorhen, um, ridden by Jilted John. Was a little bit keen on the way to post, might have just used up a little bit too much energy. But I think that the stall handlers are winning the battle at the moment. The road, the, the roll call is going on at the moment. You see the starter, Graham, there. 
counting up to make sure all the runners and riders are at the start. All the swimmers are in their stalls, starters are ready. Here we are at the second race this afternoon, the Eider Down Selling Handicap. The proud sponsor of this race is the Plough at Eastbury. And remember, all races this afternoon are also sponsored by Four Legs Radio, our fantastic local radio station. But all the runners and riders are in stalls, one or two getting a bit anxious. White flag has been raised, starters are ready. Is it a goer? Yes, it's a goer, first time. And it's one or two of these have been a little bit slow to leave the start, getting shouted at by the starter. This is a really, really low grade but competitive race and the group of runners are well grouped up early on. And the first one I can see making an impact is number 27. Number 27, duck and dive, Johnny Wilkinson deciding to make the running on this one. Also we have up close up is number six and number six this afternoon is what's up duck yeah what's up duck and no, number 21 and third 17 is going well on the far side and number 14 on the near side i wish i could fly orville on board that one and now he's actually going to have to make a slight maneuver here because there's a bit of an obstacle in his way and number six has gone and Mac gone wrong. He has run into traffic problems early on. And what a disaster for his rider. He has taken a wrong course. Number 23 and number five, I believe. Number five going really well, which is Qu Queen Quackard. And Queen Quackard is going extremely well. Number 13 in second. And number 13 is Desert Island Duck. And Desert Island Duck looks to me like it's timed this run perfectly. With about 20 yards left to go, the lead has changed hands about five times in this race and I'm not so sure it won't change again. All the way in the lead we have number 23. Paul, Paul does a coat, that's mine. Paul does a coat going well and it looks like he's going to sail away to an easy success. Travelled really well from start to finish. Number 15 in second and number six staying on really strongly on the far side. Number 15 has got the wobbles at the moment. Obviously not fit enough to see out the distance. But as we get to the line, it's number 23, home and holes, bold as a coot. Number 15 in second and no, oh, it's a photo finish for third. Number 16 just got crossed the line in third. So the result is now official. Number 23, bold as a coot, ridden by Harry Hill. In second place was number 15, Egon Rone, in the frame for the second time today. This one is really fit and firing. And third, I believe, was number... Number 16 was third, which is Toilet Duck. Johnson and Johnson on board that one, so that one had a little bit of extra weight to carry. So guys, we are on to the third race of the evening, which is the Egamon Challenge Cup, sponsored by Four Legs Radio and the Fungi Club. It's a handicap for three-year-old rubber ducks that have only ever paddled at Bath before, so conditions today will be very different. It's not a race to get too heavily involved in, but one I do like the look of is Toilet Duck number 16. And although Bath conditions would obviously suit, it's bred to stay longer than the mother-in-law, which is ideal in what will certainly be wet and testing today. They're lining up, so let's head over to commentator Pat Murphy. Good luck. And now we come to the third race on the card this afternoon, the Egamon Challenge Cup, sponsored by the Fungi Club, Club, Lauren Leblanc, Lebeau even. And again, we got 30 runners in this. And there's one race card announcement just before this starts. Number 10, the bill, written by Graham White, carries four pounds overweight. So if you've got your money on, on the bill, the jockey hasn't, hasn't missed his breakfast today. <laughs> But the runners are arriving at the start, the starter has called the roll, one or two are getting a little bit fractious at the start. Starter needs to keep these runners in order. Jockeys are a little bit edgy, they've had three months off, so they're mad keen to get going. Now you got to wait guys until they, everything's in order. They're loading them in into the, sta into the stalls, 
Everything looks out like it's calmed down. The starters are taking control. The, the swimmers for the third race are all now loaded in the stalls. The starters are ready. The white flag has been raised. And I, actually, when I looked at this race, the form of this race, I think this is a really, really competitive contest. One or two look well, well handicapped. Obviously, number 10, is, 10 has got that four pounds overweight. So remember that when you're putting your last second bets on. They're ready to let them go. White flag's raised. And they're off. Very, very slow start by number 18. Fry, Friar Duck, one or two of these needing a little bit of encouragement to get going, but is very, very competitive for the lead. Anyone a six or eight could take this from early on. One or two, this time choos choosing to come down the roadside, which is interesting, seeing as that has not been used at all today. But I think it's number 10 with his four pounds overweight that has actually got to the front. And he looks to be swimming along really, really nicely. Number 11 is, is tracking him. And that's Eider Gudjonsson with Frank Lampard on board. Number 26 is handy. And number 19, I think, is also fairly prominent. But Gra Graham Swan has just literally took the wrong course. He has gone and run into a barrier. So the four pound overweight and taking the wrong course. Number 12. Is that a number 12 or number 21? Number 21, Bill, no. <laughs> Billingsgate Market with Michael Fish on board. Number one is in second, Duck Soup. And Duck Soup is actually travelling quite nicely here, but it's Billingsgate Market who's swimming along really well. He's working very hard to get to the front and hold the lead. Billingsgate, Billingsgate Market on this side. Duck Soup making a rattle home note. Duck Soup has gone wrong. He has run into an obstacle and it's Billingsgate Market from number 13, Desert Island Duck. And this is going to be very, very close at the finish. I, uh, number 12, Ryder White Swan has just got to the lead in the nick of time. And number 12, Ryder White Swan is the winner. Number 16 in second, which is Toilet Duck. And number six, what's up, Duck? 16. The result of our third race, the Egemon Challenge Cup, is now official. And we saw an absolutely excellent performance from Ride of White Swan, number 12, ridden by Mark Bolin. This Duck got into a good position early on. Took advantage of one or two of his rivals taking the wrong position on the river because there are obstacles on the way and obviously the right side's not very good because a couple of them went straight at the obstacles including Graham with his four pounds overweight. His eyesight's obviously not very good either. But the winner was right of White Swan, written by Mark Bolin and I think this is one to watch out for in duck races throughout the season. Right, on to the fourth race. This is a quacker. The Split the Bill Stairs Handicap, sponsored by Four Legs Radio and me, Jamie Osborne. Quack Twainer. Uh, I was up at the Quacker Dawn this morning studying the form for this race, and I'd have a little hunch for my chickadee, number 30 on your race card. Step up in trip last time, seemed to quack open his ability. Uh, but will he quack under pressure against these older ducks uh, he's a quacking draw maybe he's going to be a tough nut to quack now i would just like to say that all the ducks in this race will be subject to routine performance enhancing and recreational drug tests including quack uh, so no more time for quacking jokes we're going to hand straight over now to pat murphy who will be quacking the whip down at the start Right, we come to the fourth race on the car this afternoon to split the bill stairs handicap sponsored by Jamie Osborne. He would want to split the bill tight gate. Anyway, this again is a very competitive race. Now the start for this race is a little bit different to the previous ones which were started from stalls or from a starting gate. This one is a parachute stall start. They're going to be launched from the top of the bridge by our two able-bodied assistants this afternoon. So it's potluck as to what gets a good start, what doesn't. I think they're about ready to go. They're all lined up and ready. And this should be good fun because, you know, you really are in the lap of the ducks now is to see what takes a good landing and what doesn't. But a very exciting way to start a duck race. I think they're ready to go. Ready to drop them. Go! 
At least they made one hell of a splash to start with, and one or two of these have got a really good start. Number 29 has got an absolute flyer, Quacker Jack. Leslie Crowder on board, but he's not that quick into his stride. He got away from the start well, but he's not got the right current. One or two have gone off to the right-hand side of the river, and they're not going to be taking any further part in this race. Number 10. I can't believe it. Number 10 to Bill. He managed to sweat down to the proper weight for this race, has Graham. And he's going really, really well. Number 19 in second. And number 19 is Arthur Mallard. And Arthur Mallard is going well. Number 23 is bang up there as well. Number 23, bold as a coot. He ran well earlier today. But it's number 10 to Bill, who was swimming along brilliantly at this stage. Number 11 is straight, staying on really well. Either Good Janssen and Frank Lampard has given this one hell of a ride because he just looks like he might have timed this perfectly. It is a stairs handicap. Stamina is of the premium. But now it's going to come down. And Graham, I told you his eyesight wasn't very good. He's hit another obstacle, but he has got him back on track. And the bill is back going well. Ivor Good Janssen. Ivor Good Janssen is swimming along really well. And number 19 is staying on really well. Number 19 being Arthur Mallard. At the moment, it looks like number 11. Number 11, Ivor Good Janssen is going to swim to us. Quite a comprehensive success in this one. Number 19 in second and staying on nicely for third, third is number 23. Oh, actually, hang on, there's going to be a photo finish. And number... Oh! That one I'm going to leave to the judge. That is down now to a hair's breadth. I'm afraid I am not going... As the commentator, I am not going to call this one. This might... This is as close to a dead heat as I've ever seen. The judge has had a look at the photograph, he's looking at the pixels, and he has given the result as... 19, Arthur Mallard is the winner, got up on the near side in the dying paddle. Number 11, Ida Good Janssen in second, and number 9, Quacklin Rosie stayed on to be third. Hi everyone, it's Matt Chapman here and I am thrilled to be able to help raise a little bit of money for Racing Welfare, Lambourne Riding for the Disabled and the National Animal Welfare Trust at Trindledown. And how am I going to do that? With the duck races. Oh yes. So this is the fifth race on this evening's card, which is the Donald's Duck Derby, sponsored by... Four Legs Radio and Walker Logistics. This is tonight's feature event, and it's a Group 1 contest for drakes and hens that cost in excess, see what I've done there, of £25 at the Newmarket Duckling Sales. So no cheap purchases here. Number 15, Egg on Rone, is likely to go off as favourite. But you might want to lay that one and have a small wader on number three, Foul Play, whose trainer has told me he's in quacking form. I'm looking forward to this one. So to call them home, here's your big race quacking commentator, Mr. Pat Murphy. And there's a going update before this race. The ground is now fast. It is now fast. The runners are lined up in the stalls. Starters are about ready to go. All 30 runners fit and firing. One or two getting a bit fractious. Are the starters ready? White flag is raised. And we're off. We're ready to rock and roll. And all 30 runners making a very good bright start here. I wish I could fly Egon Rone, Tyler Duck, Francis Drake, Friar and Duck, Arford Mallard, Duckingham Palace, Billingsgate Market, Hughes Mallard, Bold as a Coot, Count Dracula, Al Orange, Quacker Barrel, Duck and Dive, Out for a Duck, Quacker Jack, My Chickabee, Duck Soup, It's a Cracker, Foul Play, Peckham, and Queen Quacker, and What's Up Duck. 
But the one who's actually managed to show the best early pace is number two. It's a quacker. On the near side, we have number 26, and number 26 is Quacker Barrel. And these two are sailing along quite nicely. Just let's hope they don't take the wrong course part of the way down here. Number 20 is also going well. That's du Duckingham Palace. On the far side, number seven is showing up for the first time today. Gordon's Amor Amorhen. Sorry, Gordon. Uh, but number two is the one that's actually got the best current at the moment. Number two, but he might just made a bit of trouble in running. Number two, it's a quacker. Managed to get round that number 25 on the far side. Number two is on a slow part of the track at the moment. It's a quacker. But this is going to be an exciting finish. On the far side, we have got number 10. He's been showing up all day, and the Bill has managed to get himself to the front in this race. He got swallowed up in the last 100 yards in the last race. But number 10, the Bill, home and hosed. <coughs> number 10 first, in second is number nine. nine in second, and in third, number two. Seven. Number seven, I take that back. But first, number 10, the Bill. Ridden by Graham White from the Plough at Eastbury. Carried overweight in an earlier race, but his exertions today, he's managed to sweat off the four pounds from earlier. So we come to the last race of the evening, which is the Thiel We Meet Again Stakes, sponsored by Four Legs Radio and the trustees of Lambourne RDA. This is for amateur paddlers. With the field made up of different abilities, it will be difficult to find the winner. But I've narrowed it down to number six, What's Up Duck, and number 27, Duck and Dive. Although What's Up Doc flapped at the start last time, she stayed on strongly to finish second behind a wing and a prayer. Duck and Dive should have won his last paddle, but was disqualified in the Stewart's room for pecking another rival. Before I hand over to Pat Murphy for commentary, I'd like to say on behalf of Racing Welfare, Lambourne Riding for the Disabled, and NAWT at Trindle Down, a huge thanks to the sponsors and organisers of this event and to everyone who's made a donation by buying a duck. I hope you've enjoyed the duck races and well done to those whose duck came in first and have won a prize. So now let's go over to pay for the finale. We come to the lucky last, the Teal We Meet Again Amateur Paddler Stakes sponsored by the trustees for the Lambourne Riding for the Disabled. And this race is going to be slightly different. A, it's a flying start, flying off the bridge and hope that you fly well off of it. And secondly, the ducks are going to get battered by balls on the way down the course. So even if you're sort of 10 ducks clear, you're not guaranteed to get to the line in front. This should be fun. It should also be competitive. And I think we're about ready to rock and roll. They're all, the ducks are flapping about. They're ready to fly. White flags raised, and we're ready, they're off. <laughs> and our, <laughs> our starter got a real good waiting there, but here we go, at number 14, I wish I could fly from Egg on Rona, Tyler Duck, the Bill, Eider Good Janssen, Francis Drake, Friar Duck, Arthur Mallard, Duckingham Palace, Billingsgate Market, Yus Mallard, Bold as a Coot, Duck Soup, It's a Quacker, Foul Play, Peckham, Queen, Queen Quacker, what's up, duck? And this has been really competitive. There's about eight of them vying for the lead at the moment. And I'm afraid that they're not, our shooters with the balls aren't doing very well. Yes, one or two have got hit. Number 21 has hit the front and is paddling away. Quite nice, Billingsgate Market. He is a course and distance winner earlier this season. In second is number 13. And number 13, Desert Island Duck, is also a course and distance winner. But number 21, Billingsgate Market, is paddling away really well. Number 24 staying on, on the fastest ground on the near side, Count Dracula. But number 21... <coughs> Is going Billingsgate Market going really well. He's been surrounded and being battered and he's managed to avoid everything thrown at him at the moment. 
Billingsgate Market, about five ducks there. <laughs> Stop him, he looks like he's home and holds, although there is a fast finisher, I can't quite see the colours at this stage from my position, but Billingsgate Market is, looks like he's going to get his second course and distance win this season, and he is home and holds, number 21, Billingsgate Market, a winner by about two duck lengths in second. <clears throat> Cannot see what second, but Billingsgate Market was a clear winner of our lucky last. If you back Billingsgate Market, go and queue up, collect your money. He basically was in the lead the whole way, and uh, the handlers, the handlers have failed to catch them after they've passed the line. So they'll be next seen in East Garson at about five o'clock this afternoon. Uh, number twenty-one, Billingsgate Market. Seventeen was second, twenty-two third. Seventeen second, twenty-two third. And the result of the lucky last is now official. The judges have looked at the print and the winner was number 21, Billingsgate Market, ridden by Michael Fish. Course and distance winner earlier in the season and he compl complements that win with another fantastic performance. In second was duck number 17, Franc Francis Drake, ridden by Queen Elizabeth. She's had a good day today. And in third was number 20... Number 22, which was Jos Mallard, Judge Pickles, and that's the first time they've managed to get into the frame today. But a highly exciting day's racing on the river at Eastbury. The current was strong enough to make really competitive races. And seeing as we've had three months of a lockdown, I think that the trainers of these ducks have done a marvellous job to get them fit and firing on the day. <laughs> Thank you very much for your support today, and we look forward to all donations for the local charities. Excellent. Wonderful. Excellent. Hey, and Penny, when you're going down, just make sure you throw your phone this way. All right?